The Life and Sad Ending of Russell Means Russell Charles Means was born on November 10, 1939, at the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, South Dakota, and was given the name Wambli Ohitka by his mother, which means Brave Eagle in the Lakota language. In 1942, the Means family resettled in the San Francisco Bay Area, seeking to escape poverty and problems on the reservation. His father worked at a shipyard. Means grew up there, graduating in 1958 from San Leandro High School. He attended college, but did not graduate. His autobiography recounts a harsh childhood with an alcoholic father. Means himself fell into years of truancy, crime, and drugs before finding purpose in the American Indian movement in Minneapolis. By the end of his 20s, he had lived in several Indian reservations throughout the U.S. In 1968, Means joined the American Indian movement, rising to become a prominent leader. In 1970, he was appointed AIM's first national director, and the organization became a period of increasing protests and activism. Means participated in the 1969 Alcatraz occupation, and on Thanksgiving Day 1970, he and other AIM activists staged their first protest in Boston. They seized the Mayflower II, a replica ship of the Mayflower, to protest Puritans' and later U.S. mistreatment of Native Americans. In 1971, Means was one of the oldest leaders of AIM's takeover of Mount Rushmore, a federal monument within the Black Hills, an area sacred to the Lakota. In November 1972, he participated in AIM's occupation of the Bureau of Indian Affairs headquarters in Washington, D.C. to protest abuse. Many records were taken or destroyed, and more than $2 million in damages was done to the building. In 1973, Dennis Banks and Carter Camp led AIM's occupation of Wounded Knee, which became the group's best-known action. Means appeared as a spokesman and a prominent leader. The armed standoff of more than 300 Lakota and AIM activists with an FBI and state law enforcement lasted for 71 days. Means turned to the United States to establish the offices of the International Indian Treaty Council in 1977, At Pine Ridge, he helped organize community institutions such as a radio station and a health clinic. In the 1980s, AIM divided into competing factions. Differences emerged regarding support for the indigenous peoples in Nicaragua. Means announced his support for the Miskito group Misura Sata, which was allied with the Contras. He traveled to the Atlantic coast of Nicaragua in 1985 and 86 on fact-finding tours and believed that the Mosquito, as a people, were being targeted for elimination. Other members of AIM supported the Satanistas and the national government, although they had forced or removal of thousands of Mosquito from their traditional territory. At that time, the Grand Governing Council of AIM, based in Minnesota, Ask Means to cease representing himself as a leader of the movement, while other chapters of the AIM continued to support Means. Means often supported libertation political causes and ran for vice president along Larry Flint. In 1987, Means ran for the presidential nomination under the Libertarian Party, losing to Congressman Ron Paul. In 2004 and 2008, He supported independent Ralph Nader. In 2012, he announced his endorsement of Ron Paul in his bid for president. A notable film career, beginning in 92, Means appeared as the actor in numerous films and television movies, first, The Last of the Mohicans. He appeared as Arrowhead in the TV movie The Pathfinder in 1996, in Natural Born Killers in 1994 as Jim Thrope in Windrunner, A Spirited Journey as Sitting Bull in Buffalo Girls in 1995, and had a cameo in the miniseries Into the West. 
He was a voiceover actor in Disney's third highest selling feature from Pocahontas and its sequel, Pocahontas 2, Journey of a New World, playing the title character's father, Chief Powhatan. Means was a guest actor in the 1997 Duckman episode, Roll With It, in which Duckman takes his family on an educational trip to a genuine Indian reservation, which turns out to be a casino. Means appeared as Billy Two Feathers in Thomas and the Magic Railroad. He starred in Pathfinder, a 2007 movie about Vikings battling Native Americans in the New World, and co-starred in Res Bomb, the first feature film of Native Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. His musical CDs have been recognized by the Native American Music Awards with a Hall of Fame award. In addition, his paintings have been shown in various galleries around the world. Andy Warhol painted 18 individual portraits of Russell Means in his 1976 American Indian series. Means is the focus of the 2014 documentary Conspiracy to be Free by director Coulter Johnson. In personal life, Means was married five times. The first four marriages ended in divorce. He was married to his fifth wife, Pearl Means, until his death. He had a total of ten children, seven biological children, and three adopted children. In August of 2011, Means was diagnosed with esophageal cancer. His doctor told him his condition was inoperable. He was rejecting mainstream medical treatments in favor of traditional American Indian remedies and alternative treatments away from home on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. In late September, Means reported that through tomotherapy, the tumor had diminished greatly. Later, he said that his tumor was 95% gone. On December 5th of that year, Means stated that he beat cancer and that he had beat the death penalty. The following year, however, his health continued to decline, and sadly, Means died on October 22, 2012, less than a month before his 73rd birthday. He was cremated and his ashes were sprinkled throughout the Black Hills.